Hello. Answer, are you hearing? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Hello. Okay. So we can start now. Respected uh, regional director and my colleagues and my dear students, uh, good afternoon to all of you. So this is a grievances and redressal session and examination and assignment related issue uh, pertaining to RC question. So before um, starting, I want to tell some information regarding the assignment as well as the examination. Are you hearing my voice? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes, sir. So, this, uh, you know the term and examination, twice we are conducting every year, uh, June term and examination and December term and examination. So here, so now this uh, December Experiment examination. The last date for submission of the online application is 15th November 2022. So without late fees, 15th November 2022, and with late fees up to 25th November 2022, the candidate able to submit through the online portal. So you know very well the per course it is the 200 per course. Uh, it is a without late fees. Each course you need to pay through the uh, online. And the late fees, along with 200 per course, you need to pay 1,100 late fees also. That is the uh, last date, uh, 16th November to 25th November 2022. This is the uh, examination related information. And the assignment uh, submission. Yeah, for this statement examination, which is up to uh, 30th November, we have been extended up to 30th November 2022. So last date for submission of the online assignment, uh, 30th November 2022, <coughs> that, uh, the link for the submission of the assignment, which is available in RC uh, question website, the candidate able to uh, submit through the online. If they want to submit the assignment uh, uh, at their study center, they are also hard copy they can be able to submit. But any one mode they can be able to submit the assignment, either hard copy or soft copy. Soft copy is better, so you can be able to scan your assignment. The link is available. After scanning, you can submit through the uh, that, uh, online portal. So after receiving the assignment, we need to separate a study center wise, then we will forward for evaluation of the for the concerned study center uh, where you you have admitted that we can send for evaluation purpose. So, um, you see that examination and assignment is the important uh, component for the distant education. So, because it is the heart of the system, examination and assignment is the heart of the system. Assignment is the uh, internal evaluation. So, per course, one assignment need to submit. Are you hearing my voice? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, per, per course, one assignment need to be submitted uh, before writing the examination. Before registering the examination, you need to submit the assignment. Uh, 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 one assignment per course. So then you can be able to fill the uh, application, examination application through online. And uh, my uh, suggestion is, uh, is to you that you see that that uh, IGNO uh, RC question website as well as IGNO website www.igno.ac.in because all the information time to time we are updating in the RC question website as well as the uh, Facebook and the future also we are uh, uh, giving the information. So whatever the last date, uh, whatever the timeline for examination, assignment, admission, 
and all the things we are providing and uh, if you want to send any grievances you can go for the i igram also and also that ask the question uh, mail id also you can able to send the uh, your uh, grievances ask the question at igno.ac.in that also you can able to submit it so if any <coughs> doubt you have study purpose or submission of assignment and evaluation you can contact your coordinator your concerned coordinator where you have admitted that coordinator you can able to see that because we are have, we are uh, providing the top pattern in each study center coordinator assistant coordinator assistant so what purpose we are providing there they want to sub, uh, support you any clarification any query uh, they are supporting at the lsc you have a right to ask any question from them or any grievances to be solved that uh, grievances also you can uh, report to them and if it is not solved at study center level then you can approach the regional center we are as far as whatever we are receiving we are solving section wise admission section and examination section and assignment section uh, we are solving all the uh, grievances and if anything are there we are giving the discussion forum in that you can discuss what is your uh, problem uh, which is study center and um, what is the study center responses also and these are all the thing you can discuss we are giving the time to uh, our students also to talk about your uh, problem and whenever you are telling you can mention that your uh, program and enrollment number also okay so that is good yes sir yeah sir i have a doubt sir thank you thank you very much yeah please sir my name is ijaz ijaz ahmed my enrollment number is 18 9751048 okay i am a lecture lecture visit resident i have a doubt regarding uh, one fact, uh, practical examination okay actually my my clarification is i couldn't apply for december term and examination one one examination i ha- i couldn't attend only B- bli bachelor of life science 227 that is a okay. practical examination but i couldn't register for a december te examination why why what is the reason because of my validity actually my validity i i enquired with the rsc regional center kochi yeah. they told me that the validity of exam validity of my course is expired so i couldn't apply for december te exam and uh-huh. also my uh, i have i have a 8 exam last year, june june 2022 and uh, half of the result have come in strength comments but not four results are pending so whether i i have a doubt whether i passed or failed in that examination no actually by knowing BL- that only i, I can apply for a december tea exam sir, no bl answer sir in query is query is related to the uh, non receipt of okay. uh, exam result in the last column in the in the term and examination declared you know it will be mentioned that the uh, pending results will follow so definitely before this end of this month it has to be there because from december it has to uh, the madam ma- madam madam my doubt is uh, last date of examination december te examination is 15, 15 how can i how can i know that whether i passed or not no what do you know no you see the result result will be declared the theory result will be declared from the regional evaluation center kochi rec so we don't have any role on okay. that okay only assignment mark okay. in case your mark is not updated and then we, we will do that we will uh, take the Assign- issue Ah. assignment mark is cleared everything every right cleared yes, but i couldn't my my doubt sir sir i couldn't i couldn't uh, my validity of my degree is expired 4 years when before i 2018 i registered 4 years after december uh, Ju- june 2022 my validity of course is expired that is uh-huh. why i couldn't uh, apply for december te exam BLI 
so i couldn't uh, i couldn't apply for that no actually in that case validity is totally experiment that a student can able to go for credit transfer for credit transfer new admission fresh admission to be taken and then this passed credit will go to the new admission enrollment number so then you have uh, another validity for uh, maximum duration so suppose bachelor degree mean uh, six years duration you have in another enrollment number but this passed courses suppose you have you passed 12 courses uh, total courses you passed it 10 courses then the then passed courses will be transferred to the new applicant and uh, enrollment number so that is a credit transfer option will be there so that sir, can... sorry sir right? credit transfer credit transfer yeah credit transfer the passed credit course... transfer credit transfer the passed whatever courses you passed a that the passed marks will go to new enrollment number fresh admission you to you need to need to be taken so then this so, all so that is eh Sir, yeah, yeah. If I register for fresh admission, should, yeah. should I should I pay pay fees also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a new admission. This is like a new admission, likewise, because your maximum period is over. Yeah, then maximum period over means we cannot do anything. You cannot do anything. So then fresh admission, you will you will take the same program. Then this whatever your courses already passed, otherwise these passed courses will be wasted. It is totally wasted, yeah. Then you cannot. This total, it is a option for helping to the student. That's a credit transfer option. You can able to transfer all the past. Uh, some application is that that you need to send to Delhi. So they will transfer all the past year credit to the uh, new enrollment number. So then again, you need to write only two courses, whatever left over uh, for the examination. Already written examination, not right. The mark will come out uh, come come to the new enrollment number. Are you understand now? what i am telling are you understand sir network sir uh, network yeah, credit, you need to take the fresh admission then this passed credit will be transferred uh -huh. to the new enrollment number this is only option sir, sir one one more doubt sir if i if i register for fresh admission yeah. should i pay for, pay uh, fees also so admission fees uh, yeah you need to pay first year admission fees You need to pay first year. Sir, I, this is BLIS, BLIS one year course, sir. Should yeah, I pay for six? You need to pay. Yeah, yeah, you need to pay. Yeah, you need to pay the admission fees. Then this passed credit will be transferred. Then within that uh, maximum period of two year, you need to complete leftover course. Whatever leftover you are unable to complete, that will be returned. Okay, this is the thing. So any other okay. query? Okay. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Well, Yeah. Sir, actually, when when we get when we get to know the pending results, sir, can you say any last date for that? Yeah, you write to to REC. Actually, in this record, you write to to regional evaluation center. Website is the may email ID is available, or IGRAM also you put up in REC. I, actually, sir, I already I already communicated three times via mail ID to okay. RC coaching, and they. Same message I have been replied, sir. Oh, so, I don't know whether I passed or not. Regional evaluation center, you send it. Your result is uh, delay. They will reply it uh, when it will be declared, and they will reply. It. The website okay, uh, has you. the email ID. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. so any other query recording assignment and uh, examination hello sir good evening yeah good evening ma uh, sir i am from vinod kerala what is your name zainab sir zainab yeah yeah sir i ah. have taken the admission for uh, pg diploma in hrm sir okay Uh, I have cho chosen the study center RIMS study center in Kochi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm unable to hear your voice. It's not clear. Say na ba. Unable to hear hear your voice. 
I think you move muted. Hello. Yeah, Agil, Agil, Agil may talk. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, myself, Agil, uh, I have actually opted for MCOM. Okay. Uh, this uh, July cycle, but the thing is that uh, you told about a, a coordinator and assistant coordinator. I I never got a you know answer or a call from the you know study center. So I was a lot confused, and uh, I was I, I have already tried to contact the you know the both centers like uh, Cochin and Kotem. My center is CMS Kotem, but okay, actually okay. I'm not actually getting any guidance on this uh, you know exam or uh, assignment. So what is the solution for that, sir? So actually, the study center uh, they are uh, they have the working days for supporting our students. So mm -hmm. during that time, you can directly also you can go and visit them and whatever you are doing, they can help you. Or mostly you can uh, connect with the uh, website, RC Kochi website mm -hmm. and the Info website, and also our Facebook and uh, Twitter. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually following these things, uh, but the problem is that uh, when I could try to contact the uh, the, the center, is there a no, study center? They're yeah. telling like uh, they don't know the list of students uh, who are actually uh, enrolled and not enrolled. They don't know anything. So, so that that uh, that actually our admission section they are forwarding the detail each every mm -hmm. uh, admission uh, yeah, session by they are forwarding. After admission okay. over, uh, total number of list uh, study center wise we, uh, we are forwarding. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, what I think is that uh, we uh, really need uh, you know telephonic support, and uh, then only we could understand what is a procedure that we have to follow right now what happens is that uh, the last day to apply for the exam is 15th and last day to apply for the assignment is 30th so without submitting the assignment one cannot uh, actually put yes in that tab now there's a tab in uh, exam application session that you have already submitted the assignments so yeah. that will be a bit confusing because uh, how can we do a thing that have to happen in the future it is actually uh, supporting the student only it is up to uh, that is number we are uh, providing mm -hmm. because it is a writing if the assignment is a writing thing it will take okay. some time but however if you have hope that you will submit before 30th november 2022 you can put up yes there is no problem mm -hmm. sir uh, i will tell you an instance for example if i have uh, you know one thing before submitting the uh, examination form you need to submit the assignment through the portal mm -hmm. That's say you try to submit the assignment that's it okay yeah. uh, uh, the last date is 30th now sir last date is 30th, uh, 30th right 30th, 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 30th number uh, i'll tell you an instance for example if i am actually applying for the exam this time and i am yeah. submitting it the assignment on 25th of this month so uh, what if that uh, assignment got rejected so you try to submit it you try to the before that you try to submit it submit it uh, before 15 you see we have the late fees also late mm -hmm. fees of 16 to 25th for examination for submi submission Okay. So in the people to 25th, you can submit it. Yeah. But whatever the, we cannot give the time beyond uh, 30th November. So mm -hmm. if it, it will extend the time, then maybe it will be notified in the uh, media or. Uh, okay, sir. Sir, sir um, you know uh, what about the study materials? Will that be directly from uh, Delhi or? Uh... The study materials we are uh, sending uh, by post also. Uh, and uh, mostly the student away day, they are downloading from the uh, e gear coach that's the okay. one of the platform the sub copy yeah, they yeah. are downloading and uh, they are reading in sub copy also as well as they are uh, 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 printing also from that e gear coach uh, okay okay, uh, okay. sir uh, one more doubt uh, if i'm actually appearing for the 2023 june batch like uh, you know two semesters i can write together right so if that is the case, uh, what will be the date to submit the assignment? No, no, that assignment when date is... When is your enrollment start? Uh, July session or January? J July, July, ma'am. Uh, July, so first is, uh, you can uh, stretch it up to March. March, okay, okay. okay. Together. Yeah, fine, fine. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
Yeah. Please, please. Uh, sir, I am a uh, MSc Information Security first sem student. I first oh. applied for only for theory papers in October. After some days, I got an email that I have uh, three practical papers also. Uh, so I applied again for practicals. Okay. Two uh, exam applications. Okay. Is there any problem? Uh, will arise or? So I am not hearing properly. Problem arises, please contact ma'am. We will solve your problem. All ignore problems are solvable. No. Uh, sir, first I applied for theory papers in October. Okay. After some days, I got an email that in first semester there are three practical papers also. Okay. Okay. And so I have applied again for practicals. Okay. Uh, that is, I submitted two applications for uh, December uh, twenty-two examination. Okay. Okay. Is so there actually, any problem? There is no problem. There is no problem. Actually, practical uh, and theory that you can uh, at the same time you can able to submit it. Uh, okay. That, uh, there is no problem. Uh, sir, one more question. Problem. Yeah. Uh, I also joined for a certificate in communicate Sanskrit on 2021. Uh, okay. But no new assignment is available for SSB one two three. Uh, now. So assignment that the copy that uh, Igno Concern School they will upload in the assignment oh, that. Sir, one, one second, sir. One second, sir. I think yeah. it is valid yeah. for one year, madam. So you can use it up to next June. If you are taking January, wala, you can take it up to December, ma'am. I mm. checked based on your uh, earlier. Somebody has raised the query, and I checked with the school also. It's valid for one year. You just check it is written on the third line, ma'am. So you can use it then. That question paper, no problem. Uh, but uh, the last date is thirtieth November. Yeah, thirtieth November this. for submitting the assignment. Submitting the assignment. Yes. Yeah. This is, this is the assignment available on the website. Yeah, yeah, website. I know website is available, right? But the right. last date is two thousand twenty-one. Two thousand. Where it is available? Website. Website. So website is now the fresh date also updated in Igno website. Not that assignment portal website. That maybe they are not updated. But uh, igno uh, uh, that www dot igno dot ac dot in website it is mentioning that assignment submission is in thirty first November twenty twenty two for this December uh, term and examination December twenty twenty two term and examination. Same question paper I can use. Yeah yeah you can use. Already Madam told me okay. one year you can able to use that question paper for certificate program. Particular. Okay. 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 Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, yeah. sir. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, sir. My network problem was there. What is your sir, name? Sir, I'm Zainab, you. sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, then uh, actually, I I I have chosen the study center RMS, and uh, I have already submitted the assignment, sir. Okay. Then I have applied for the December examination also. Hmm. Uh, ah, yeah. then sir, uh, do we have any cl online classes or something like that uh, before the examination? No, actually, sir, classes counseling is something. What subject, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, PG diploma in human resource management, PGD HR. Oh, yes. Actually, Swayam Prabha live sessions are going on from eleven o'clock onwards, so you can be benefited by that. And some recorded videos are already available in the YouTube channel of Hidden Center Coaching. And I also oh. take this opportunity to share with you, friends, that the National Education Policy yes, 2020. Hello, sir. One second. Yeah, hearing, hearing. You, you listen. Full at Igno. So, uh, as per that NEP, we have to move to the digital uh, form. So the and still the pandemic uh, at certain situation exists, and we are not rigid like the conventional education system of doing blood test every fifteen days and coming to the venue. And uh, still, uh, this uh, the digital resources seems to be more beneficial for ignorant students. 
So I will encourage you. So I am Prabha live session, uh, eleven o'clock every day. Please be benefited by that. All the management program uh, uh, sessions are being held. Online counseling sessions are held. Yeah. So you can use the Swayam Prabha uh, that channel also for the counseling. Um, and the recorder counseling classes also available in the website. Ignore recorder counseling classes for program by YouTube channel uh -huh. is available. That also you can get it the details. Okay. Okay, thank you. The sir. recorder yeah. version is available. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, okay, so then uh, actually uh, with the study center, uh, actually I don't know any uh, friends or anybody in, uh, who is who has chosen that same course. Then. No, we won't be able to disclose who our ma'am. That that uh. course we are very open. And oh, I would okay. like to say one because no, we can't disclose other students' information to another student. Ah, yeah. okay, ma'am. Okay, one. okay. And copying is also not allowed when it comes to assignment response. So based okay. on madam's query, I just we have covered this under our induction meeting guidelines is that you. When you take collect your study materials, please read the unit structure. Unit structure have all the side headings which will be covered in that unit, and there will be self help self uh, check exercises which you have to answer so that the things um, uh, things uh, which you have learned so far can be addressed by you itself, whether you have understood or, or not. And at the end of each unit, there are uh, what we call the possible questions based on the unit uh, content, uh, syllabi content. So that also will help you to prepare for the examination. And there are old question papers available in uh, the uh, IGNU website, uh, www.ignu.ac.in. You download the question papers and be benefited for while preparing for the uh, exam. And the self instruction material, uh, the study material is so teacher inbuilt. When you are reading it, it will look like that somebody is teaching you. So please be benefited for all. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for your information. Yeah. So, Jam, if you have raised your, your hand, but uh, if you have queries, then you can come in or else we can lower your hand. So, are you any other queries available from the learner? Exam and assignment related things. You raise your hand if you have any query please raise your hand option it is available in that uh, google meet friends still we uh, receive some queries i just want to give you small tips for writing your assignments keep it little big margin so that when you are stapling it then uh, the next side uh, what you have written is not stuck to the uh, stapler that is one. Second is use black or blue. Do not use teacher's colors like green, red, etc. And uh, the colorful things. Uh, and when you are underlining it, underline the side headings, the main points. And let there be a sequence of what you have to do when it comes to uh, writing. Don't just copy the material. That is also very important because, you know, uh, people will be assessing of how you are assimilating the content and the unit structure will help you to locate the assignment response that is one and when it comes to term and examination attempt for answers for the questions which you know do not attempt in the sequence it is asked attempt in the way you know uh, and this but section wise you finish it there will be a b c d sessions two marks, five marks, or minimum grade, etc. So oh, you have to be um, very careful when you are attempting the session-wise question. So don't miss in that. Don't jump across the sections. And uh, when you come to the examination hall, you we need your uh, hall ticket, your ID card. So if you have not downloaded your ID card, please download the same. And we also want to share with you 
the igno uh, studying itself not only igno any studying process is more like slow cycle mean you have to sm small amounts related to your study every day and uh, you will agree with me that like for example i can be talking to over the phone yet to listening what is happening in the in my hall or i can be uh, reading the newspaper and listening to the um, uh, song which is coming being played but when it comes to studying you cannot do uh, studying along with others you have to spend some time but definitely there will be some spin off benefits when it comes to study and when it when if you have observed that inam sir he was telling that there was some hiccups related to declaration of result and he missed it never miss the deadline or the prerequisites for writing your term and examination or submission of your examination form why because today it things of tomorrow may, may become very dark but when it when the tomorrow becomes today the things will settle down so even if you have a difficult situations in your office or family commitments are there fulfill your prerequisites and i say distance learning is like uh, go out i mean uh, driving in a dark area with some small light here and there only when the point of turning comes you will know there are multiple options of turning so never give up give up friends and please take one day at a time and do not worry about tomorrow when it is time to fulfill your prerequisites for today yeah thank you thank you madam and uh, that the examination form submission you can submit it uh, before the last day uh similarly assignment also uh, and then uh, we have uh, already activated around 14 examination center under igno rc cochin jurisdiction which is near uh, most of the place it is covered the student is able to attend the examination very easily uh, from their location so you can apply there if it is any center examination center doesn't have the uh capacity then don't wait for that same center you can apply near near center uh near center automatically the vacancy may be available so you can apply uh, near center if any emergency then uh, we will help you later stage for that uh, changing the examination center but you don't wait for uh, uh, submitting the examination form because of that there is no seats are available in the examination center Uh, sir uh, uh, will there be any meeting with the admission team admission team they are uh, arranging the rehearsal uh, driven no, process already over sir already over yeah. queries related to admission you tell me i will att uh, attend to you yeah, yeah okay okay uh, because uh, you know uh, what is your uh, question tell me sir yeah i believe that uh, a telephonic uh, you know helpline would be beneficial because uh, you know uh, a lot of numbers are given in the websites but uh, no, 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 nobody is actually picking up the call so, so true, sir we have 25000 students online and mm -hmm. we talk for five we have to listen for five minutes and we talk for 10 minutes at least okay and i will encourage you friends to please attach as a scan document of your id card and hmm. your query and post and send it to by email rccochin@igno.ac.in mm -hmm. and again if you are not receiving it it means two things one is we are we are planning of what to write one mm -hmm. second is maybe your problem is very tough so we are studying the problem and helping you to solution so okay okay if you are re not receiving any reply after one week or 10 days please for re forward it and say kindly treat us reminder we won't mind it we will give you a instant reply at that time okay ma'am uh, but uh, you know I, i i just want to get the numbers of the coordinator na that's what i'm confused about also the, the email only is the best thing sir study center email id is available you can uh, consult through the study center or you can go directly to the study center and discuss with them study center sir okay 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 thank you ma'am thank you sir you call the code code center please yeah 
ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് കോഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് പാസ് ഔൾ ദ സബ്ജെക്ട് തേർട്ടീൻ സബ്ജെക്ട് ആൻഡ് റിമൈനിങ് ഓൺലി ബി ജി ഒൺ സിക്സ് and okay. the validity of this course uh, now they informed me that is expired right. i was registered on 2016 validity of the program transfer this uh, oh, no. old passes validity of the program your ba program is expired yes, correct sir. okay okay yeah yeah We, it was expired they informed me yeah i i actually uh, think that i was uh, submitted for evaluation but they now inform me that it's not uh, submitted for evaluation so Wait. now i can transfer this past the subject to new course new uh, if yeah, i register yeah, similarly the lecture uh, uh, validity uh, yeah yeah can i transfer all the all the courses new new admission to be taken then that uh, past the uh, credit will be transferred to the that enrollment number new enrollment number so which already answer to the lecture to student yeah the similar way we can go for that so credit transfer is option for you now Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, so, I able to transfer all that past the subject to new uh, registered number. Uh, new enrollment number. New admitted enrollment number. Yeah. Fresh admission you need to take. For the same program. Okay. 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 Then I can only attend that uh, failed subject only, na, sir? Uh, yeah. Only, yeah. That only you can write. Uh, remaining 10 past the uh, courses uh, mark will be updated in the new enrollment number. There is no problem. so only the two only you need to write whatever bending to okay. that only you need to write yeah so this option is uh, uh, okay option. thank you sir and uh, shall i again yes sir shall i again submit that uh, assignment also in after registering new uh, no 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 actually it is not necessary only for the two only the two left yeah whatever left if uh, whatever two courses you are not clear me that assignment only one is remaining Ah, uh, that one assignment need to submit. That one. Okay, only one is remaining. Ah, uh, examination also need to write. Ten months exam. Okay. Sir, one more thing. Sir, oh. yes, sir. Yes, old B B T. Okay, sir. Uh, can I register online? Na, no? I can sir, register online also, na. Can you, sir? Sir. Madam, please tell me, sir. No, please, madam. One more thing. You is your program old B D P? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, then that is not transferable to C B C S. sorry old bdp old bdp is your program old bdp no i was registered on 2016 madam that is what old bdp program it now it is cbcs choice based credit system okay okay what solution for that me uh, so that mean i can uh, not all the things you will get sir you have to apply for internal okay. credit and uh, you have to be in touch with the program coordinator to facilitate so okay. i asked you to i asked you to uh, program coordinators but uh, they don't know what the uh, present status uh, how um, present uh, procedure for this registration register and then you have to make a representation to the university stating that you are the old uh, bdp student asking for cha- the credit transfer to the choice cbcs bdp at the ba program bag courses it is called 
Okay. So, uh, okay, okay. and equivalence for okay. credit transfer, you have to elicit. May I know which is your study center, sir? Sir, please, can you tell me which is your study center? Uh, or, uh, uh, Okay. Okay. I will note it down and uh, and uh, will you be able to send one email to RC Kochi? So based on that, I can initiate before you apply for the next uh, also. You send the email, you sure, detail. Sure, madam. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay, sir. I will uh, send it in uh, RC Kochi email ID. Okay, thank you, thank you, Tambi. Thank you very much. So that they can reply it, whatever clarification they will solve it. Huh? Uh, okay. And because okay. CBC also is coming, that's the reason. Yeah. Uh, any other okay. query regarding exam and assignment? Any other query? Yes, sir. Think? Uh, yeah. Sir, I have. Uh, sir, uh, yeah. actually, I have to ask about that. You told the, about the examination center, no, sir? Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, actually, I'm from Vainad, Kerala. Okay. Uh, as it is a management course, I think I didn't get any nearby study center, sir. No, actually, examination you can be able to write it anywhere in India. So, uh, not only Kochi region, you can write it. It is not necessary within the Kochi region. Why not also maybe maybe that Vatagara regional center or uh, maybe covered why not Vatagara regional center? They they have established the examination center at, at that your near place. So uh, that, sir, I, I checked that uh, while I was applying for the uh, examination form, there was no, uh, it was not found, sir. Then it is near available, ma. Each other, we have uh, Palakkad, Idiki, Ernakulam, uh, Trishu, and Lakshadweep. These are all the places under our uh, jurisdiction. We have the examination center. You are telling why uh, uh, not? is not under our uh, RC question. So maybe ah, but okay, you so. see the list, you see the list the examination, the online form submission time, you see the, the name of the, the place also will come, examination center code as well as the place, which place. Then ah, according to I checked, sir. Uh, right. I, I think why not St. Mary's College, almost all examination, uh, all subject examination is conducting there. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, I am a teacher, sir. Then from I, I think that December second to January second, the exam is going on, no? Okay. And then, sir, I also I have a small baby also. Then uh, it will be very difficult for me to come and stay in coaching for one you, month. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not possible. You uh, contact yeah. the teacher center, whatever, where uh, that uh, why not place they activated the exam center here, so they will ah, inform. Okay, sir. Which so is then... near place? from why not? Which is a near place for you? Sir, so Calicut is nearby, but if it is Calicut or Vadagara, both Calicut of the place I have to go and stay, sir, for writing the exam for one month Calicut. daily. No, actually, my, my, my... All, days, all 30 days, the one month exam is not there. How many subjects are there? Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. I know that. Only five subjects are there. Yeah. Then it may be between days. Your region is not under RC Kochin, ma'am. But uh, uh, you, you, my sir, suggestion is yeah. to tell you to contact RC Vadagara. Vadagara, you contact no, ma'am. Actually, I have chosen the regional center Kochin itself. For my oh. course, I have chosen the regional center Kochi. Okay. Yeah, because uh, traveling, yeah. Uh, I think Vadagara and Kochi. So that is fine. Oh. Then in um, Kochin, which exam center have you opted? Uh, Ma'am, I got Kalur Regional Center itself, no, I no. think. That was last time. This time, December, what you have opted, I am asking you. Yes, ma'am. Regional Center, uh, Kalur, I think, ma'am. Because you would have asked for it. No, I, uh, I actually, uh, I didn't get an option to uh, take any place in Vinats, ma'am. So then it is that is what I'm telling. You can write to Vadagara Regional Center telling that you are from Why Not and you need an exam center at Why Not. Ah, okay, ma'am. Thank you. We have to mail it. Mail it. Ask the Vadagara, you mail it. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Then thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much. Right. I think there is no question is available now. Huh? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, for uh, participated of our learner in this uh, grievances. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for all of you. Thank you.